Hello once again, nerds, geeks, and weebs. We are back with some more Dangan Ronpa. Last time, things really, really popped off, man. Things are going crazy. We got two people that are dead. And now, we gotta start investigating. Let's talk to everybody, shall we? Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think, anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no. We can't just leave him here alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. What? Fuck you! So then. Fine. Then I'll stay here, there on guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two-player co-op base defense with the two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. Huh. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I, I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Huh? Is this really happening? Don't fuck with me. Screw that piece of shit, bear. Huh? Huh? Um... What's... what's going on? <sighs> we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. Ifumi? Um... Consciousness has crashed. Restarting now. Please wait a moment. Poor guy. <laughs> what about you back there, Toko? She must be so shocked she can't even open her mouth to talk. What should I do? Someone got right in front of us. They... Mm. Uh. What's your hero? Precious cinnamon roll. What the heck? I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it. Or else we're all dead. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> So you finally noticed. What the crap? Huh? Noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead. Take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Ah! What? She's right! Eh? Then, could it be... All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. But hold on a second, you got it all wrong. For just one night, I, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. <laughs> what the heck? You expect us to, to believe that? Just tell us the truth. The look in everyone's eyes had gone a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? Hmm. We need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. I mean, sure. Are, are you serious? So we're really gonna try and find out who did it? Mm. If we find out who did it, then only that person dies. But if we get it wrong, then all the rest of us face execution. What the heck? That's what that ridiculous school regulation said, right? So stupid. All right, that's everybody. Well, there's Junko. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse like they do in movies and stuff, but she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood? Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Huh? Hold on! 
<laughs> hold, hold, hold on! J -j just wait a second! J she's dead? Then that means... What? That means everything that's happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? Let me out Hell of no. here! Hell no! Someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's your problem? You're just now accepting that? So then... Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say any more? Actually... I'd rather you didn't know. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I'd better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence... You're fucking dead. They'd better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I will fuck them up. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um... But, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway... We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is it was very you. suspicious. I'm telling you it wasn't me! Mm. Don't come any closer! Are you gonna kill me too? So, um... But, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. I'm not... It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um... And that's true. We may as well at least check just to check. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help investigate. Huh. Wait, why not? <sighs> I'm not good with blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh, yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. <laughs> All right, I guess I better get going. Well, wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will... Execution is... Execution. Execution! Electric chair! Bzz, bzz, poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! Again, such great lyrics for a rock song. Or a pop song. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth, so that we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. Nice. Monokuma file number one has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Alright, anything else from anybody? Aren't you going to help investigate, Chihiro? Um... But I can't leave Junko here. I, I feel sorry for her. I... I have to stay with her. Poor thing. Uh, uh, no way! I seriously don't want to die here! Help me! 
I'm begging you, God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me. I don't care who it is, just get me out of here. Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. I swear to God, dude, he's shaggy from Scooby-Doo. All right. Leave the gym? Yes. All right. Yes. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. Uh, we won't make any progress without investigating there. Let's do it. So I headed to my room where Sayaka's corpse still remained. I better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Yeah. Huh? Looking at the lint roller, it looks like there's way less than there was before. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? Interesting. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off the parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Craft hypies. Replica sword has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. If I remember correctly. Ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we switched rooms, we switched keys too. So Sayaka would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then... How did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or opened it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So, how did the killer... Nice. Switching rooms has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Bed looking rough. There are gouges in the bed, like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? The toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a toolkit like this. For Yo. fix and stuff? Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. What? We ain't exactly what? in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then? What? Not just me. What? Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Because, like, why the hell would we? Nice. Toolkit has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. The notepad is still here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. Fair enough. The surveillance camera. The mastermind must be using them to keep an eye on everything that's happened here. They don't do anything to stop what's happening. They just keep on watching. Hey, Blue. Oh, Sakura. Sakura, do you think that I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. 
<clears throat> Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Switch scratch. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it, I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you could know. Well. Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Nice. Evidence of a struggle has been added to the truth bullet section. Yeah, I do remember them saying that you could literally scream your lungs out and nobody would be able to hear you. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, the sword's been taken out. So it's just the sheath, but... Huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But how'd the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone using the sword would use the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you'd do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Fuck me, take a drink every time he says sheath. Nice. Woohoo. Oh my god, there's... No, 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 no. I know, I know, I know, I didn't mean to hit that. Okay, the table. By the way... You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch! That dirty bastard! Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead. So if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. <laughs> That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> he had to think for a second. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area. But... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no. Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? <laughs> I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Uh, no, I don't think so. But what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. <laughs> unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been, room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it to... I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well. That's the question, isn't it? Nice. Yeehaw. Oh, lordy. The bathroom. And on the other side of this door, No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. 
Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her, her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't, I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. Shit. I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her. And there I saw... What? Written in blood were the numbers 11037. Did Sayaka do this? Interesting. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... But now is no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glitterly there on her wrist too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger? But that's it. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Yeehaw. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist... That must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Um, I believe that's everything in here. Through the bathroom? Yes. It would seem... It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers. That's most likely Sayaka's dying message. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an inspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? I love how for once Mukoto brushed off Kyoko and said the other way around. 11037. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well... Think about it. You're not going to tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but... It's obvious you're not going to tell me. Dying message. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. To those of you watching, it may be very, very obvious. Uh, but keep in mind, all these kids are Japanese. So, you know, they, they may not 100% see anything that might look like English and think English right away. So, just a heads up there. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Nice. Uh-huh. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? 
But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice. Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob? What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bath... But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently, struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is, only you and Sayaka knew about it. Hmm? Hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she really was starting to get into all this. I see. Then that clears that up. Uh, <clears throat> huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was ever there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob. I still don't really understand any of this, but... I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks, if they'll even talk to me, that is. All right, what about y'all? Y'all got anything else to say? No! I didn't want to go back in here and relive drama! God damn it! Y'all heathens. By the way. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Never mind. They got nothing else to say. You nope, 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 nope. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. I'm out. Leave the area? Yes. <clears throat> Oh, sh all right. Hey, buddy. Very strange. So, why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? No, no, you've got it all wrong. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Hmm. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Huh? After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? <clears throat> the reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? She's dead because of me? Then it should have been me that died? <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. That's... If that's really true, then I... God, Makoto, you are fucking short, bruh. Like, no offense against short people. But holy shit. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Seems like... Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? The nameplate. Huh? This definitely this is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. The nameplates on my room and Sayaka's room were switched? So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Nice. 
weird. Mm-hmm. Very strange. Mr. Nyagi, what was Miss Maizono doing in your room? Let me just say this. Most suspicious. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we need to check out the trash room at least. Where are we at right now? Okay. Dining hall. We need to go there. Okay, Sayaka's room. And we need to go to the trash room. No, no, no. Where is... There it is. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Go this way. To the trash room. All right. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm the trash man. <laughs> I, I come out and throw garbage all, all over the ring. And then I just start eating garbage. <laughs> There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. Monokuma appears! It's the end of the line. The trash room. This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't go any further. No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further. Okay. Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further. Oh, you are an asshole. This is stupid. It'd be faster to just go around and ask the others. No, no, you can't go any further. Shut up, Monokuma. Nice. Trash duty, okay. Uh, well, I guess that's not happening, is it? Right. Monokuma! Oh, get, 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 no, get no, out of here. No, no, you, no, no. No, shut up. All right, I'm out. Yes. Um, I'm looking... Oh. I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Hmm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens, Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for the position. Hmm. Uh... I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room? Here we go! Of course! It's my job to gather up the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm-hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get into the trash room? And only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can throw all things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So in other words... Actually... Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. Boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty. Why'd you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh. Um... I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You. Liar. I know why you did it. Is it? Like... You want to dig through all the girls' trash, looking for, you know, and poking around at it. There's no way to think about you this in a about? common sense kind of way. <laughs> all my love is for 2D. You know what I mean. But there's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... <laughs> I would never get tired of 2D! <sighs> After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hm. If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash to dispose of it. <laughs> what? 
What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to... Anyway, on another topic, Ifumi, since you are on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm-hmm. What, so now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. N no, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You! Oh, yes. okay. So easy. So, Ifumi and I headed down to the trash room. Hmm. You'd like hmm. me to open the gate, hmm. wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please just hurry up. Da, 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 da. Okie dokie, leave it to me. Hifumi pulled a key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Mr. Naegi! Without a doubt! Surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend! You planned this all along! No! I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. Hmm. But the actual hmm. killer is hmm. you, hmm. isn't it? You want to see if you left anything behind. Wait, maybe a parallel world. Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. This dude. <laughs> this is the incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Uh, and it's on right now. Mm -hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave. Okay? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on? Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Was it a fairy? Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Ifumi, do you realize what you just said? Huh? Huh? The fairy? No, you said that last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ha! Yes! About that, there can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if... Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate... Most suspicious. It should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Truth bullets. Do, 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 do. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Hmm. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love. <laughs> He's so done with him. Anyway, this is... It looks like a piece of cloth. And the shape... It's part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, that's definitely blood on the cuff. Which means... Oh, for anybody, like... Asking about that at this point, about the blood being pink, it's just a... It's a censorship thing. It's a way for them to get by and, and with a lower rating and not get in trouble. This is all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough to buy, by itself to figure out who the killer is. Yeehaw. Okay. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it used to be some kind of glass ball, just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this yeah, perhaps... Is that? Do you know what that is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. You fucking nerd. <laughs> mm. Mm, kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on any big city street corner. 
gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. This dude has all the references. <laughs> yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. They should all still be in the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. Nice. Hmm. This whole thing is quite strange hmm. indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off and those glass jars of clothes weren't there. The unforgivable! What does it all mean, Mr. Nyagi? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? That's it. I'm Everyone sure already of it. knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. It sounds like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. So those things weren't here before. The green button turns it on and the yellow button turns it off. Or so it seems anyway. All right, that's gotta be it, right? Mm -hmm. mm, hey, Mr. Nyegi, you seem a little down. Huh? Really? <laughs> if you need help lifting your spirits, call on me anytime. Come on. I've got all kinds on. of smut uh, stuff that might help cheer you up. <laughs> Dude accuses him of murder and then offers him porn in the next breath. Man, is the area? All righty. Next place, I think they said was the dining hall and then the gym. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Howie. Hina, are you investigating the dining hall? Hmm. Oh, no. I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all the first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me c keep me calm. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Um, over here. Oh, snaps. Um... Well, there are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning, or? I'd better see if anyone here knows more about it. Okay. I think that was the only thing here. Oh. There's a bunch of vegetables all piled up. I don't see anything noteworthy about any of it. Nice. Oh, that works. Surveillance camera in the kitchen, too. Knowing Monokuma could be watching me, there's no way I can concentrate on cooking anything. All right, we're out of here. Yes. Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Hmm. Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure, you can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it. Nice. Um... Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not! I would never! Hina, do you really think I murdered her? Cause, I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still... Killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together... Aww. I honestly have no idea. 
Man, that sucks. Get the area. Yes. All right, let's go to the gym. Oh, shit stack. Okay. Oh, hey, Taka. Listen to me! Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's dorm has a nameplate on it to show whose room it is, right? You hear me? Well, it just so happens. <clears throat> Wait, no, no, no. You might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Got it! Forget everything I just said. Forget! 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 Beam! <laughs> Sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes. <laughs> You're a fucking lunatic. <laughs> uh, okay, Jim, 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 Jim. Go to the guy. I think. Gotta go confront some peeps. Um. Hey, hero, can I ask you something? Uh -huh. No, 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 no. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out now. I've had enough. Gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it. Uh, um. Uh, uh. Huh? Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? <laughs> That's my crystal ball. But it's all smashed! What the hell? What the heck? I, I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So, how did it break? What? What? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did the guy totally dupe me? <sighs> he said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Uh, um, let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you? Uh, um... Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Shattered crystal ball. Thanks, hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, um... Sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? <sighs> Everything I saved up from the f fortune telling for two full years came out to be like a million. A million? Uh, um. That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world, that's just too, too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. <sighs> a million yen. Good grief, my dude. Hey, Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? Oh, what is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Mm. Um, sorry, no. Chihiro slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry. I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even she doesn't know. Or could she maybe know more than she's letting on? No, couldn't be. All right, folks, I think we're going to end it there for now. Uh, we will continue investigating next episode. Slap that like on the booty if you are enjoying this content. Subscribe for future Danganronpa content. I truly, truly appreciate you guys watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.